if you are getting confused which needle you should use for which fabric and uh, at the same time what should be the needle for automatic zigzag sewing machine like this one this is the plastic uh, sewing machine usha genome stitch magic or uh, whether you should have a different needle for uh, industrial machine or umbrella machine or uh, you know, that black uh, metal or thread uh, treadle machines. So if you wonder what is the difference between both the needles for both the machines, okay? One is this question. Another is what needle types exist and uh, you should use for your uh, domestic use uh, beginner level home use sewing machines and what should be the thread for different fabrics at the same time there would be one more question in your mind if uh, you should uh, really have different these different types of uh, needles because uh, you know you don't use generally all of us who stitch at home or who uh, make clothes at home repair clothes at home we don't to use different fabrics there are only a few typical uh, types of fabrics like it's a uh, cotton or uh, sometimes some uh, rayon satin crepe silk or uh, sometimes you have to uh, repair denims that's it these are generally typical uh, fabrics that you stitch at home so let's find out what is the question and uh, and this question came from one of you and similar questions were received. So that's why I decided to take these questions. So hello, Stitchers. I'm Dimple Anand and I welcome you all on uh, stitchingmall.com here on this uh, channel. It is our mission that we provide you the best of stitching machine uh, reviews, uh, stitching, uh, you could learn stitching in the best way and also learn to earn money with your stitching hobby or boutique business so let's start question is do you need different types of needle for usha genome wonder stitch plus sewing machine for stitching different types of fabrics this question has different layers first of all you need to understand what is the needle type for automatic sewing machines or usha genome uh, zigzag sewing machines when you use these white plastic sewing machines, you have to use HA needle. While you buy a sewing machine, one needle is already fixed there. You get a set of needles, maybe two needles or uh, six needles, depends. You will get a set of uh, needles with your sewing machine when you buy the generally the company made, the branded ones. Later on, when you need the needles, you can buy that needles from company itself online or offline or you can do this thing the way i bought this shamit's uh, needles or zenith oregon wa uh, white train oregon there are different type of different brands local and branded you can buy those needles singer also provides uh, needles so you can buy these needles also online or offline so HA needles, particularly you need for automatic sewing machines that are home use sewing machines. For industrial level sewing machines, generally you need DP sewing needles. They are bigger ones and they have flat head of the needle, right? So here, this is the difference. Now we come back to the different types of needles here uh, there is a chart and this chart i didn't prepare this chart i got from uh, usha genome sewing machine while i bought stitch magic so when you buy your sewing machines there is in the manual itself there is a chart that uh, indicates what is the thread type and needle type that you need for different fabrics so here we got see Fabrics may be of different types. They comes in gram or weightage. So lightweight, medium weight, and heavy weight. Generally, the lightweight fabrics are those where you need the lining or the they are see-through fabrics like grape, voil, lawn, organdy, georgette, tricot, or it could be your uh, neck fabric, right? So these chiffon also. So these fabrics 
you consider as lightweight fabric for uh, these fabrics you should company suggest usha jerome company suggests that you should use 9 or 10 number needle generally while working at home we uh, use 11 16 11 14 and 16 these three numbers of needles are sufficient to take up home use products or uh, use at home so what you can do rather than 9 or 10 because uh, when the needle number is less the whole of the needle would also be smaller needle would be you know thinner sharper smaller so the fabric that goes with the thin fabrics the lightweight fabrics and at the same time the thread thread would be fine silk fine cotton fine synthetic you know thin thin uh, fine uh, thread you need so fine cotton fine covered cotton blended that is also called cotton covered or polyester thread so if you don't have 9 or 10 uh, number needle you may use 11 number needle also because that is generally used and uh, that's why even the sewing machine shops they also keep 11 number needle rather than 9 or 10 number needles then we come to medium weight fabrics medium weight fabrics are those where the fabric is not see through but uh, they are lightweight like linen cotton pig serge double knits or percade or hosiery t-shirt fabric because most of you ask what needle to use for what thread to use for hosiery or t-shirt sewing so here you have to keep in mind 11 or 14 number needle you will use for these type of fabrics and the thread could be medium weight also so thread could be like 50 silk and uh, it's mentioned here so what should be the the thread should be same the medium level medium weightage that goes with medium weight fabric and medium needle so here you can use 14 number needle or 11 number needle that would work for you then we come to heavy weight fabrics heavy weight fabrics are those fabrics like denim tweed gabardine coat uh, coating like pant shirt etc drapery upholstery fabrics home decor uh, you are doing you are making curtains pillows for all those purposes you can use 14 to 16 number needle and uh, the one tip i would like to give you that generally uh, while you stitch at home it is not like until unless you are doing it for your customers or you you are doing you have dedicated one day that okay today i have to do nothing but to i have i have to stitch only i have to spend my time with my sewing machine until unless you are doing that so you particularly think okay you feel rather overwhelmed or you are scared okay now i need to change the needle let it be i don't stitch so don't fall into that trap what i do generally i use 14 number or to make things easier i use 16 number because most of the time i am stitching cottons even if i am using any other fabric i generally use 16 number and that does perfectly for me i don't say that is the best practice best practice i have already shared with you that what company recommends what most people recommend but uh, this is what i do and uh, i found that works fine so if you are finding it difficult ki okay what needle to use for what so you can try that and uh, there is one more tip here a bonus tip see you can do this like for all the fabrics you can use 14 or 16 number needle and a medium thread okay but if you are still even if you tried all the settings the shuttle brace is clean the bobbin is properly done the needle is uh, new or a, you have you are using a good needle still you are having problem then it is advisable that time you use proper needle size with proper thread size for your fabric or if there is any special kind of dress then be careful with the needle and thread type and that goes with your fabric type okay and also take care 
what needle type you are using for your automatic sewing machine that should be ha okay in case you need help i'll give a link in the description so you can track the needle type you need for your automatic sewing machine so this is the answer to this question whether you need specific needle for your usha genome wonder stitch plus so here is the answer i hope i answered it uh, in detail and covered all your doubts still if you have any queries any questions you can drop your questions in the comment box and i try to answer it as soon as possible uh, one more thing i'd like to suggest that uh, many of the questions are repeated and many questions i have already answered in some of my earlier videos so you can also check my earlier videos and chances are you will get answers to your questions there in case you also have any question related to sewing machines or learning stitching or growing your sewing business or creating a any plan strategy for your sewing base business you can contact me through the comment section you can there would be there would be some links in the description box you can reach me there thank you so much for watching this video stay subscribed so that i could make similar videos or uh, more informative videos for you keep watching let's meet in the next video take care god bless you